Okay, hey guys, welcome back. This is part 15 of our continuing Let's Play as Brandenburg series here in EU4. Uh, let's see, where we left. it's been about a week since I played last, so I watched a bit of the last video, and I think we were just in a war. Um, we got our butts kicked a little bit. Uh, our manpower got depleted. Um, if you notice, the date skipped a little bit. I accidentally unpaused the game before I started, uh... Uh, recording, but nothing happened, so it's alright. I think it was only a couple of weeks, so hopefully no big deal. Uh, what well, we're going to start off in this one is we're going to continue uh, to recover our manpower and uh, build back up to our force limit with our men. Uh, you guys are protecting trade, right? Yep. And we have another fleet over in the Baltic. We can build two more ships, which I think we'll do. Oh, we got so much money. Um... Let's see, tech-wise, how we doing? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What's the next level of Carrick? It's a 15, so we're only two away. So actually, let's hold off on building any new ships, because we're pretty close to being able to upgrade. We are 11 years ahead on military tech. Not ahead on admin. I think we have a military idea we're working on. Yet, we haven't finished off offensive yet. So that's cool. Uh, we do have innovative over here we're working on. Looks like... We're doing pretty good on our ideas. Next one will be faster recruitment and a quarter more manpower. That'll be really nice. Wow. Yeah, that'll be another, like, 7,000 7, manpower. And, uh... And, yeah. It's cool. Alright, so let's uh, unpause. Let the game start ticking. We have Papal Influence. Uh, can we spend it on anyone? <laughs> oh, yeah, let me apologize in advance, guys. I am having some serious allergy issues today, so... If I'm sniffly through the video, I apologize. Uh, but coffee helps. I also forgot to start my timer. Let me do that real quick. And go. Alright, cool. Uh, we can fight for this guy. I guess we should. Oh, I'm th yeah, I'm the papal controller. I forgot. Nice. I've been playing some like little bits of uh, one-off games. Uh, Royal Marriage from Bremen. I don't think I want to do that. Do I? Oh yeah, you're my vassal. That's fine. Takes my legitimacy down a little bit, but whatever. Uh, so we're allied with Spain and Russia and Austria and Saxony and Bremen. That's pretty good. I feel like maybe we should start going to war with Poland or something. They are allied with Bosnia and Lithuania and Bohemia and Spain, so no. Trier's being a dick and being huge. They like us alright, though. And, uh, <clears throat> we got nobody really voting for us right now, um, but I haven't really tried, so maybe after I annex some people, we'll, uh, start marrying some electors and see what happens. Got normal size Austria here. Yeah, Spain inherited Tuscany, which sucks. And almost no Protestantism in this game. Crazy. One of the other games I was playing as another HRE guy, there were, like, the entirety of Central Europe went blue, like, all of it. It's crazy. It's interesting how things go game to game. Lithuania is getting its ass kicked by Russia. We're sitting over here being Brandenburg. Uh, Protestant zealots in Wittenberg. Okay. Is my, uh... I'll probably got my maintenance down, yeah. Ugh, we're poor. stomp these dudes. The problem is, the reason I'm stomping them and not trying to use them is because there's no way to get them to force me to convert. So we're going to try to form Germany instead. I should have waited. Alright, good enough. Follow them to Potsdam. Crush them. Go to Lubeck. You guys go to Mecklenburg. There we go. And we'll turn our stuff back down. I don't know how we're... Uh, I guess it's all... All of our military units is why we're not making any money. Oh, we got lots of free diplos. Let's uh, see how relations are. Topped off with those guys. Topped off with those guys. Mm, topped off with those guys. Um... Have we topped you off? Let's might as well top off France so they don't mess with us. 
And then I guess we can maybe talk to one of some of the electors. Mm, Saxony. Baden. Oh. Who's the closest? Saxony, but I feel like we've already improved relations with these guys. Yeah. You're voting for Denmark? Oh, Savoy. Oh, yeah, let's improve relations with Baden. Let's also see, where are they at? How big are you? Baden, just the one, huh? Yeah, it's pretty small. Could potentially vassalize those guys. Uh, France, what are you doing? Knock it off. Are we tapped off with the Pope? No. Let's do that. Alright. And Gotland's independent. Wonder if we could get those guys. Um, uh, five prestige, yeah. That's fine. Um, do 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 do. They would take vassalization. That would give me a little bit more power in the Baltic Sea, which I don't have a ton of power. Well, I've got all of these guys, but it would be more. And no one's gonna get mad at me for doing that. Like, I won't get any uh, negative penalties for the HRE. Uh, Bremen, do you have cores anywhere else? Did we check this already? I feel like we did. Yeah, you got nothing. We suck. Alright, well, we've got really strong allies. Let's start, you know, diplo-vassalizing some of these little one-province dudes. Yay. Good. Converted some heretics. Um, no. I'll lose the papal influence. We're gonna get more back, and there goes France. Like, hey, buddy, I'll take uh, your cardinal. Thanks. Cool. And then we'll go start uh, improving relations with them soon. <laughs> All for a crusade. That's funny. Alright, here we go. Oh, my coffee is extraordinarily hot. But it's alright. God, look at that general. No freaking shock, but lots of fire and lots of maneuverability. <laughs> um, we have anybody... Oh yeah, good. Lots of guys. Uh, France, you suck. Alright. Oop, there's a text message. Alright, cool. Uh, yes, we've got... Let's see, 17, 3, and 10. We're gonna need a lot more infantry. So let's build... 5 infantry and 1 horsey guy these guys over to here. We'll be just about ready to get rid of these mercenaries. <laughs> um, let's see, ideas, or whatever these are called. I would embrace the counter-reformation, but I don't want to... I don't want to have my ideas and tech cost so much more. It's kind of annoying. The missionary strength and the extra missionaries would be nice, but we don't have that much conversion to do. It's going to be a while before we achieve religious unity. Do, do, do. We're actually probably going to be over our force limit. Once all these guys finish. We'll just get rid of some of these mercenaries. Easy done. Oh, so stuffy. Alright, we're at 36. 
Yeah, we can build so many more men. And <laughs> what are you guys? All right. Maybe we just keep the mercenaries around for a while. Are they significantly more expensive than having your just regular guys? I I'm wondering about that. I feel like probably. <laughs> no, they're costing me 41 cents a... No, that's missionary, I'm sorry. Army maintenance. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, they're really expensive. Let's just stand them down now. We're good for the moment. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That's... Definitely a limiting factor as far as money is concerned. Uh, we could take the next innovative idea. Let's see how far behind we are here. Only a five neighbor bonus. We'll go ahead and just take the tech and then we'll get the next idea later on. This is going to give us what? Plantations and production efficiency. That's nice. Another idea, group at level 14, which are coming up on rapidly. Oh, Revolutionary War causes Belli. What are, what are they now? Noble, Repu Noble Republic? Interesting. I feel like going to war with these guys would be a pretty good idea. Improving relations with Bremen. Improving relations with Gotland. Improving relations with Baden. And Papal States. Good, good, good. All good things to do. Does Treyer like me? No, nah, they're threatened. They're an Archbishop, though. Meh. Meh, I say. Good. Uh, I've got Papal Influence to burn. Take that, France. A pretty good size Saxony. Small chance I'll be able to inherit them down the line. Or form a personal union. He's got a heir. But he could die. Thinking of how's our heir? We've been getting some pretty crappy guys lately. Yeah, 0 4 3. How old's my regular dude? 23. You know what we're going to do is we're going to make our heir. A general, and then maybe he'll die. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, okay, cool. Extra cavalry ability for a while. I feel like maybe I should build some more cavalry. I don't know. Oh, Habsburgs died. Re-elected Austria as the emperor. Let's uh, try to get that relationship back. Go ahead and pull him from Baden for now. And go back in a second. Or Baden, however it's pronounced. Probably Baden. It does sound more German. I'm glad Austria likes us, though. That is certainly a, a, a beneficial thing. I could definitely get Baden to vote for me if I marry them, I think. Oh, they're already voting for me. Sweet. No, the Saxony's voting for themselves because they're dicks. So I've got two. Bohemia's got electing Poland. What the fudge? All right. So with uh, Saxony, we're gonna try to nice be friends for now. These guys are vassal of Hesse. Hesse is allied with Austria, so I can't attack their vassal. Arrgh. Let's get this reformed out of here. My goodness. Hey, free stability. I like it. What's that? Give me all of your monies? Very good. I need to go to war with somebody, but I don't know who. Riga in Russia, so nope. The Hansa. Who are you guys allied with? Oldenburg Friesen. Oh, maybe. Um, no. So who is that again? Let's see. Do I have a... I got no... 
I know timer Oldenburg, Friesland, and Utrecht. So Oldenburg, Friesland, Utrecht. I could totally vassalize these dudes. I am at six of six though. <laughs> hmm. Might be a good idea to vassalize them though. It'd be a lot of money to make. And be won over at my diplo relations. It's not a big deal. And we would have uh Russia, Spain, can I give anybody up? Well, Gotland I'll eventually. You probably already annex them. No, that's Denmark. Gotland. Now we're getting close. Uh let's go to war with the Hansa. Oh, but I would need I would definitely need Austria to come in. Otherwise I'm gonna have that stupid penalty. Let's see, if they would potentially come in, then we'll do it. Oh, idea with this one. Military. Still way ahead on military, right? Yep. Sweet. Oh, force limits modifier goes up. Which means we can now have, what? 55 regiments. That's pretty damn good. Uh, let's see here. Now, go to war. Pick their capital, blah, 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 blah. And just force them into... Oh, Austria would say yes. Alright, you know what? Let's... Need to turn up my funding for my military. Step right here. Give it a month and then maybe two months. That is my heir a better general to put in here? Uh same amount of shock. Same amount of fight, it's fine. Um boop. Now oh, we're taking attrition, man. We got too big of a stack. Oh, oh, I can't, oh, well, actually, no, none of this was ever owned by Bremen. I'm just going to vassalize these guys. And we'll make sure Austria comes. Good. Austria. There we go. Let's see if we can catch them. Blowing up some boats, that's very good. Did anybody else come in or no? On their side. Oh yeah, everybody. Cool. We're blowing away whatever little bit of a navy they have. Let's get them. Dead. Let's get you guys. The yeah, edge is going after Utrecht. Come on, let's get him. We need to go up here and siege some stuff. Alright, so one, two, and you guys go to here. Need. There you go. A new trick should probably already be. They stay here for one sec. Attach one more siege, then go here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Cool. Now <laughs> that was easy. And then we'll just attach a siege here. Actually, no. Let's just group you guys up. Let's select the army. We'll separate our own uh, four cannons. I'll move everybody over. Move the cannons back and two infantry. Like these guys, they can go up here. And you guys have the leader who has one siege. Good. Very good. I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of these little idiots, but we'll, uh... Oh. Alright, recall that guy. I don't know why my vassal left there, but whatever. Looks good. We are the Seager, yes. Yes, very good. 
<sighs> Good war. We'll vassalize the Hansa. Uh, and then... Probably just make these guys all give us their money. Should be should be a good plan. Oh, you guys, I like coffee. We're making so much money. I think we should probably build some stuff. Temples. Where is? Have I built constables everywhere? Trade depot. Build a bunch of trade depots. That's good. Wow, that was a lot of money. <laughs> oh well. We're about to get a couple hundred back. We're making eight gold a month with full... Uh, full funding of our military. Heldenit, who are you fighting? You are fighting Trier in the Hessian... Yes, yes, go kick Trier's ass. I'm okay with that. Uh, Alsace, probably in the same war. Incredibly slow sieges are progressing. We are winning battles, not capturing any ships, unfortunately. We have won the Siege of Oldenburg. Alright, you guys go home. Peace Oldenburg out of this. I could fully annex them. Not going to. Can't afford that much aggressive expansion. Yeah, so we'll just take their gold, their trade power, make them annul their... Treaties, that sounds like a plan. Very good. More money for us. Uh, we've lost our claim on Niederlauch. Okay, that sucks. But that might actually make us like make them like us better. Then you go to war with Hesse at some point, but they need to break their alliance with Austria. Before I can do that. Yeah. What's this? What's the, oh my goodness. Uh, nope. Nothing, nothing yet. I was playing another game up with Saxony. Just as, you know, just messing around. Whatever. Playing on speed 5. Seeing what happened. And I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, whatever. And then I, I scroll out. And all of a sudden, Austria has, uh... Inherited Hungary, and I was like, well, that's the end of that game. Because, damn. Austria, or no, we have converted. Very good. And who's next? Oh, I'm building stuff, so I can't go. Well, go to Altmark. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Who are you guys? Catholic Zealots. Could fund some rebels. We got the money to do it. Uh, really? Reformed. We're getting reformed all over the place. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh. but if you look, like, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going against it is Baden. Oh, Baden is Protestant. And Bohemia. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, the Belden, Saxony, Trier, Dustiny, they're all Catholic. I'm actually surprised that uh, Austria hasn't enforced religious unity on those guys. Russia, Crimea, the Ottomans. Yeah, except. How are we doing on Gotland? Can we... Almost time to vassalize those guys. Okay, got a new cardinal, who I put no money into. Um, you know what we haven't looked at? Well, we probably looked at it like instantly last week, but I forgot. Let's see who the Pope hates, and see if we can't excommunicate someone. Hesse, ooh. Wait, are they... they're probably Protestant. No, they're not. Aw. Could potentially do that. Maybe Austria would break their alliance with them. That might be a good idea. Pope is just straight up mad at that guy. Hmm. 
Sweden. Ah, so maybe Hesse. God, I can't believe how big Spain is. That sucks. I don't want them to be that powerful. But we finished off Frisland. You guys go home. Let's talk to these idiots. Do for peace. Break your alliance. Give me your trade power. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Clear everything. Break your alliance. Trade power. Money. I will get five prestige. I'll take it. Get no aggressive expansion, which is the important part. And France is all about this cardinal. We have won the Siege of Bremen. Excellent. Why don't you guys go help down here? Because this is apparently taking forever. Um, we are 100%. We are at 100%. Mm. Yeah, we're going to go. Uh, let's see. Not being blockaded. Ah, screw it. Let's, uh, we'll go ahead and just end the war. You guys go here. Everybody go here. Alright. Hansa. Super peace. I want all of your money. I want... You to... Oh, I cannot vassalize you. Right, give me your trade power, and then give me... I can take Hamburg. Which I guess I'll do. Yeah, that seems fine, actually. Only 7.5 aggressive expansion. I could potentially force their government if I took less money and stuff to a democracy or to a monarchy. Yep, oh, that sounds good. So Hansa will give me Hamburg. I'll give me lots of money. I'll get some prestige, very little aggressive expansion. Looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. Excellent. Hamburg is a 10. Oh, we need so well. We're almost. We almost have enough to core it next month. There we go. Let's start the coring process. Yeah, I think that was. I think that worked out well. That's gonna give us a lot more money. Fifteen gold. Jesus, that's a full maintenance. Let's turn that down. We're making like twenty gold a month. Uh, we can build a march. I don't know where I would build that though, because I got a lot of places I potentially could expand. Um, we did the trade depot in a bunch of places, right? Let's do one at Mecklenburg. Lots of trade. Trade is good. And then potentially canals. There goes all our money. Very good. Uh, crap. I'll just take the loss of that for now, because I don't want to lose the stability. It's kind of like equivalent. Um, I can't boost my stability yet either, so... <sighs> Spain has a speed of succession. Saxony does not. This is occupied by Trier. It's occupied by Hesse. Man, that's a big old war. Is Austria on that side? No war against Bavaria. Let's see, actually. Pause. Alright, there we go. Relations. Current wars. Wars Bergian Conquest of Niederbayern. Which is against Bavaria, right? I don't even know. Um, this is Saxony. Saxony's in on this side. And where's the other war that Saxony's in? <laughs> I thought they were in two wars. Maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, but, yeah, Austria's not in on that war. It's interesting. Oh, we've topped off Gotland, which means we can probably offer them vassalization. Yep. Good. 
and then we'll continue uh, improving relations with them because we've got the free diplomat to do it. Come on. <laughs> I've been playing on Speed 5 on some of my other games. It's good and bad. You miss a lot of stuff, but a lot more stuff happens quickly, which is fun. And Denmark is having some problems. Actually, that's good for me. Let's, uh... Which rebels can we support? Norwegian Patriots, I'm usually for. There's only two counties. Uh, Danish Peasants, no. Swedish Patriots, maybe. That's only... Oh, actually, that's a lot of places. Let's do that. Maybe Hesse will lose this and they'll have to uh, give up the vassalization of these guys. That would be nice. Yeah, go ahead. The Hansa are down to a single province. That's great. This core is going to be really, really valuable when we get it. An accepted culture. It's a base 10 tax. That's a big deal. Oh yeah, we're still at war. <laughs> Whoops. Go, Russia, go. Uh, we got Trierian peasants. I may have just spilled coffee all over my face. I'm smooth like that. <laughs> uh, smart. Cool, so uh, we're making so much money. I am definitely going to build some more men. Uh, get us closer to our force limit. We have 22, 4, and 10. Let's build, like, five more of these guys. Build two more horses and... Oh, I don't know, two more cannons. Should be good. Spend all our money. And all our manpower, for that matter. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So we are building nine units, which will bring us up to about 45 out of our 59 potential. I might actually run out of... Oh, Lubick can hold 72 guys. That's awesome. Bremen, what are you doing, Bremen? Whoops. Oh, France. Stop it. Nice. Nice big gigantic army for us. I don't know where all my money went. We are making like 20 gold before. Once that's cored, we should get a little boost to it. Oh, we got, like, we can build a lot more ships. Oh, we're gonna wait. That was right. We're waiting. We'll build new ships when we can. Oh, no. Our rebels got caught. Hmm. And there's Norwegian patriots? No, oh, Catholic zealots are all over the country. Yeah, we'll stop doing... Oh, that's what it was. We were spending money on that. That's right. Probably in Trier. I wonder if they have any rebels we could potentially support. Not as peasants. It's no biggie. Saxony? Nope. Poland? Nope. Austria? Nope. Such rebelist guys. I'm in seventh place in the world, guys. That's pretty good. Oh, we got a tech. What's this? Naval. Four years ahead. Nope. Not yet. Sorry, bud. You can definitely hold up on the hold up on that for a little while. Let's see, we are also way ahead on admin tech, aren't we? Well, only four years. Hopefully we'll be able to get this uh, before we have to do this. Maybe we can get another Diplo idea. That's good. Uh, we did take Diplomatic. If we take another Diplo idea, I'm probably going to do trade, to be honest. I don't think... Actually... Let's see here. What's our colonial range? Do we have any? Uh, um, so we need we need to get like about 200 more colonial range. 
And if we took, if we took expand, we don't really, we're not going to need, and no, we might need it. Uh, we took exploration, gives us plus 50%, which would definitely get us there. Uh, An expansion does not give you the increase uh, diplomatic relations, that would be nice. Expansion might be nice. <clears throat> Africa is how far away? Yeah, so uh, it's going to be rough. And let's see. The next... Um, at level... Yeah, we, only get, we only got by 50, so it'd be like 475. It's not very good. So we're going to be a ways before we can possibly... I mean, if we focused on it, maybe we could colonize. But I don't think that's going to be our main goal right now so maybe the next diplo attack we take is either naval or trade naval's really powerful lots of strong boats are good but i mean the german navy was pretty decent at one point um more merchants more trade range more trade efficiency more merchants trade steering yeah i think maybe trade is where we're gonna go next so if we can make a bunch of money then we can live way above our force limits and we can crush the crap out of everyone. And then we can take a, a coalition of some of the smaller uh, HRE members without much of a problem. Oh, hush. Uh, let's see. Against France, the Papal States, Denmark, Hungary. Oh. The French Burgundian trade war against France. Let me just take a peek at the ledger. I think we're going to say yes to this one. Military. Armies. Total force. France has got 97 or 94,000 men right now. I've got 45. Austria is not even on. Oh, Austria's got 36. Oh, this is going to be a bad war. Could potentially peace out early, but if France comes marching over here with 90,000 guys, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, man. I do not want to piss off Austria. That's an ugly war to get into, though. Hey, conversion. Alright, let's take a look now. So it is France, the Papal States, Gallery, and French Overseas Holdings versus Austria, Burgundy, Cleves, Holland, uh, this guy, Savoy, and I think Mantua. Oh. Yeah, if we don't stop France, they're going to become an issue. So we will accept. We're going to turn our maintenance all the way back up. Going to convert the next thing. Uh, we're going to hold off for a long time on that. And we're going to run up to... We're going to run all the way over to Memel for now while we get our... Um, God damn, look at that 90,000 guys right there. They're going to take some serious attrition, so we're just going to kind of peace out for the moment. And you know what? Actually, this video is right at time, so before we get too deep into this war, I'm going to stop... Uh, we'll put a pause in here, and the next one we'll come back. We'll try not to get our asses kicked by France. We have very little manpower, uh, so I'm going to try to avoid battle at all costs and peace out early um, if I can. And, yeah, because that's a whole lot of dudes. It's a whole lot of dudes. Uh, Austria is the war leader, so that's not good. And France has how many boats? 11 heavies. Um, this is 10, 4 heavies versus 5. It looks like they're winning. They probably have an admiral, though. Yeah, you guys just come there. Let's get our boats out of the way. We're going to lose some money, but it's going to be worth it to not die. So go to Memo. You go there. All right, cool. We'll pause this one here. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Adios.